everybody. Welcome to the Law Doc Way. I'm Jessica. In today's video, you are going to help me unbox our Christmas games. So I wanted to share our holiday themed games with you guys anyway, and I thought this would be a low key way to do it. We are just going to open this box and I'm going to show you what's in here. Now, before I do that, I do want to preface this by saying we have been collecting holiday games for at least five to six years. So some of the ones that I show you may no longer be in print, but that doesn't mean you won't find them at thrift stores or used somewhere. So just know that if it's in this box, we play it, we bring it out every season. Um, we love it, so keep an eye out for it. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. The first one we have is Christmasopoly. Clue the Grinch. Elf the North Pole. They're falling. <laughs> Present pile up. Mickey's Christmas Carol game. Santa's sleigh ride. This is probably one of my personal favorites. Um, it goes so well with Santa's tasty trip around the world, but it is also a really fun way to get in geography. It's kind of a Christmassy version of Ticket to Ride, I would say. Uh, let's see, Merry Grinchmas. I'm dropping games. Elf. Oh, this one just can't open. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you the lid. 12 days. It's a card game and it is really beautiful. Um, most of the cards have like a stained glass look to them. You know, since it opened anyway. <laughs> Let's see. We have the Christmas Express game. I actually just bought a copy of this for um, another family because I found it 50% off somewhere. We have Grinch Grow Your Heart. Stitches Merry Mischief. Dash Away All. Chippendale's Christmas Treasures. Elf Snowball Snowdown. Something Wild. I think this one is the Peppermint Lane version. Frosty the Snowman. Christmas Rush. This is a Christmas version of spoons, if you've ever played it, where like you're trying to lay it down and then grab a spoon before everybody else does, except they give you like little Christmas pieces that you're competing to grab. Uh, let's see, Down the Chimney, this is a dice and a card game. And you actually put the dice down the chimney, like the chimney is the dice roller, if you will. Princess Present Party. I think we're probably passing this one on this year. Uh, we played it last year. Emily's definitely outgrown it. This is more of like a three plus. She's also not really super into princesses anymore. So I think I'm probably uh, gifting that one to a niece. This one is hilarious. Kazoo, that festive tune. Uh, basically you get a little card and you have to try to play the tune on your kazoo. Uh, like rocking around the Christmas tree or Frosty the Snowman. It is so much fun. And I think, let's see, there's only four kazoos, but I mean, you could definitely have multiple people if you were willing to share the kazoos. Like you could have a large group. Uh, let's see, Peanuts, Charlie Brown, Trim the Christmas Tree. This is basically like a suspend style game just with a Christmas tree and Christmas ornaments. Um, spot it. We have Rudolph spot it and we have a holiday spot it. 
We have Absolute Dice, the Christmas version. Holiday Yahtzee. We have every version of Yahtzee there is. Uh, Lumps, which is just a dice game. This version just happens to come in a cute little stocking and the dice are black. I don't know if you can get the Christmas version anymore, but you could easily just get, let's see, a D3, a D6, um, a D8, nope, D10, two D6s, two D3s, two D10s, and two D8s. And you could play the game with just black ones of those. Um, and if I'm saying words you don't know, a D6, a D10, D whatever is a dice with that many sides. So uh, two three-sided, two six-sided, two eight-sided, two ten-sided dice. That's what you would need. Okay, we have Holiday Flux. Now, this is more holiday than Christmas. It does have Christmas in it, but it does have all of their holidays too. Um, like I know New Year's is in here. I think Hanukkah. I mean, they're not like, it's not super in depth, but they do have other holidays, just so you know. Uh, if you're looking specifically for Christmas, this wouldn't be it. But it does have a lot of Christmas in it. So, Holiday Flux. And then we have Christmas Lights, a card game. And Santa. Cookie, Elf, Candy, Snowman, Taco, Cat, Goat, Cheese, Pizza, but in Christmas edition. Shoo, excuse me. And then Llama Drama Holiday Edition. And then the next three things I have are like trivia based games because we like to do trivia during dinner. We'll like just leave it on our dining room table and we play trivia. So I like to kind of collect Christmas trivia for the holiday season. So I have this festive trivia quiz. This is probably the first one I ever bought. Um, it is, are you a Christmas snow at all? And then this is the one that we bought for last year, which was, you'll never guess, um, the ultimate Christmas trivia. This one has quite a few, like the festive trivia was cute, but I think it only had like 24 cards and we like to do at least two cards each night. So we were through this within the first week. It's cute, but we were through it really quick. The You'll Never Guess has, I mean, I don't know, probably at least 75 cards, I would guess. Um, and it ranges from name the gift said to have been brought by the three wise, by the three kings. Um, name the actor who stars in both of these two popular Christmas movies, Love Actually and Die Hard. Uh, name the... What's the name of the red hair bully in the movie A Christmas Story? St. Nicholas Day falls on what date? Um, what color are the berries of mistletoe plant traditionally used on Christmas? So it's just kind of a few there. So it's got a little bit of everything. And then this year I decided to get this Christmas quiz trivia and more. Um, it says it is the game that celebrates all things Christmas and it says there's 210 cards included. So there is, um, on each card, there's a question and answer, a music, and then charades. So for example, question and answer, at what New York department store was the 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street set? And then for music, what did my true love give to me on the 11th day? And then if you were playing charades, um, it has Felice Navidad. I don't know if we'll do charades because we do it during dinner and I feel like that's just asking for somebody to spill something. Uh, but I do love the idea that each question has, or each card has technically two questions, a Q and A and a music, which means that out of 210 cards, that's 420 different questions. So this is probably what will be on our dining room table this season. Um, and that's the box that's, we have officially emptied the box, but we add at least one game to our holiday games every year. So in case you didn't watch the Christmas tradition video where I show you the game that we bought Emily for her first day of Christmas. Um, it was Boop the Halls, which is a two player game. Um, it is basically cat based, which she loves. And you're like just moving the cats on their little quilt. Um, if you have played the original Boop or even Boop the Halloween version, we have both. What's cool about this one is it's like stacked like a Christmas tree. All the rest of them are flat like a bed. And so you can see this one's like three tiers. So 
she was very excited and we can't wait to play that. Do you have any Christmas or holiday games that I did not feature that are your favorites? Because if so, please let me know down in the comments so I can add them to my list for ideas for next year for Emily.